All right, that is just some Rouse marinara. Go ahead and give that a nice little shimmy so it's a nice even layer in our air fryer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some al dente lasagna noodles right on top of that marinara. We'll grab three noodles total right in there. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna grab some ricotta cheese. This is the whole milk ricotta. We are making a super easy and super delicious air fryer dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of that ricotta right on top of those lasagna noodles. It doesn't need to be perfect because we will spread it out just a little bit, but you cannot have lasagna without ricotta. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're doing the impossible. We're, we're making lasagna in the air fryer. Grab a little spatula and just kind of spread that ricotta right on top of those noodles the best you can without them being too slippery and slidey in that marinara. This is gonna be delicious, you guys. One of my favorite things to cook in an air fryer. It's so easy. All you need to do is pre-cook your noodles to al dente, pre-cook some ground beef. Go ahead and scoop some ground beef on there as well, right on top of that ricotta. Ooh, this is gonna be so good, you guys. Literally, the easiest dinner. I love using the air fryer, especially in the summer when it's 100 degrees out and I don't wanna turn my oven on to make lasagna. That is just not for me. So, we're just putting this all in the air fryer. Yum, yum, yum. And it's gonna cook beautifully, I promise you. All right, we're gonna use about half a pound for this first layer and we'll use the other half later. Go ahead and do another layer of marinara. Don't use your whole thing though. Just a nice little dollop to get mixed in with that ground beef. Perfect. Use a little brush and kind of just brush that all together. Now we're getting there. These are gonna be some beautiful lasagna layers. I promise you, yummy. Now for some more cheese, mozzarella. We're gonna go ahead and use half of this bag and sprinkle it right on top of that layer of marinara we did. Now, like with any lasagna, this is customizable. If you don't like ricotta, don't add it. If you don't like mozzarella, don't add it. Add whatever you like. If you want a veggie lasagna, you can do eggplant instead of ground beef. Just make sure to cook up that eggplant a little bit because this is not gonna be in the air fryer long enough to cook meat. Now we're gonna do another layer of our lasagna noodles. So I'm only using six noodles total. This is so easy and convenient. This is just gonna be like a four person lasagna. Go ahead and grab that ricotta again. Add some scoops. Oh yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I love ricotta. It just adds the most funky, delicious flavor to any meal. Sometimes I even put it in some desserts just for a little tang and it makes me so happy. It's just creamy and light and just exactly what I want in my lasagna. Just like we did before, we're gonna spread that ricotta out. Ooh, yeah, I cannot wait to eat this. It's gonna be so crispy, but yet, you know, gooey from that cheese. Mm -mm -mm. Right, we are almost done here, you guys. This is so quick and we're doing it all in the air fryer. We don't even need a pan or a liner or anything. We're gonna add the rest of that ground beef. Oh yeah, put it right in there. And if you want, you could even add some extra like salt and pepper in there, but I added a little bit of seasoning into my ground beef when I cooked it, so it should be good. Just go ahead and finish off that ground beef right in there. You know what? I'm just gonna pour it in the bowl. I don't know why I didn't do that to start. Beautiful. Go ahead and use the rest of our marinara. So this is a 32 ounce bottle of marinara. It's, a marinara. it's a little bit bigger than the regular size. So just make sure you get the right size for this lasagna. Right in there, beautiful. Go ahead and grab our brush one more time. Do the same thing we did before. Really cover up those noodles. Get a nice layer of beef and marinara 
in our air fryer. I know this seems so crazy, you guys. It is a little crazy, but I promise you the end result is gonna be delicious and you're gonna wanna make this every week. Yum. All right, we're gonna finish off our mozzarella. So we used one whole bag of mozzarella and this is just the standard eight ounce bag. Oh yeah, this is looking perfect. Okay, the whole bag. Now just when you thought it couldn't get any cheesier, of course I'm gonna add some Parmesan shredded because we want a nice thick layer of cheese on top of that lasagna. That's my favorite part about lasagna, all the cheese. Some more cheese, please. Beautiful, I used about half of this five ounce container. Now, the finishing touch, I have some chopped Italian herbs. I love this because it's all the Italian stuff in one. And we're just gonna sprinkle that right on top of those cheeses before we pop this baby in and get it cooking. Oh my, this looks delicious, beautiful. Okay, go ahead and slide it in to our air fryer. Turn that baby on, air fry. Let's turn the tap down to 350. And then we're gonna cook it for 10 minutes, that's it. Have you ever had a lasagna in 10 minutes? I bet you haven't. You will today though, and then start. All right, can't wait. All right, I am actually gonna pull this out a minute early, because look at that. Oh, Ooh. oh my, that looks so good, you guys. All right, go ahead and grab a knife because we're gonna wanna cut through those noodles. Okay. All right, use your hands if needed. Oh my, would you look at that delicious lasagna. Yeah, that looks incredible. Okay. Before we dig in, I'm gonna add a little bit more Parmesan cheese because I am a cheese fanatic. Just right on top, a little nice little sprinkle. And it is time to try our air fryer lasagna. Oh my gosh, all that cheese and the noodles. This is gonna be crazy. That cheese is giving me some trouble, but that's what's gonna make this bite so good. Mm. That is so good, you guys. You have to try it. 